Hello, this is Michael Rashad. We're going to show you a complex filtered relationship where you can drill down from one setting in a series of records to get down to one particular record or a group of small records that you want to isolate. And in this particular file we've got 5,000 sample records of people living all across the US. And when you come to the screen the only thing you see initially is one field with the states and if you click into that, it drops down a list of all the different states that there are in the system. So let's select AK, which is Alaska. And it now gives us all of the cities in Alaska that we have records for, and the index letter of all those cities. Now in this particular case, we really don't need the filter, because there are only one city with each letter. But if we were to go to California, for example, We've got several hundred records um, for California, or certainly more than we've got room to display. And in that case, what we do is we click on a letter, index letter, to filter those records down. So let's select L, and now we have all the records, all the cities that begin with L in California. So let's select Los Angeles. And as soon as we do that, on the right-hand side, populates a list of all the people who live in Los Angeles. We also now have a zip menu that we can now filter down to a particular zip. And so Los Angeles 090013, we have three records. And at that point, we would be able to click on any record to load that or do anything else that we want to. When we select another state, everything else disappears until you make a further selection. So we go to Anchorage and we have just a few there. And if we clear the zip, we can also filter down and look for the name we're looking for by just typing in the letters that we're looking for, which can be anywhere inside the name itself. And as you see, as soon as you type, those list, that list filters down. So this allows you to very quickly drill down to a particular person or a property or whatever you're choosing, all by making simple selections that are always based on the previously chosen selection. And that's all there is to it.